Hello everyone, uh, my name is Devin Texera, <clears throat> and I'm going to be doing my slideshow on the Black Cottonwood Populus Tricocarpa. Um, I'm doing my PowerPoints as images and kind of just talking through the images as we go. Um, I'll have everything from my work cited at the end. Um, let's get right into it. Um, hey folks, let's talk about the black cottonwood, uh, also known as Populus trichocarpa. This native beauty can be found uh, chilling in various parts of California. From up north, down to south, and right in the middle, it's like the cool kid of trees. Fast growing and hanging around for a good amount of time. Picture it standing tall up to a whopping 100 feet, and it loves to stretch to branches during the spring and summer. Uh, now, when it's feeling itself in mid-spring, you'll see some pretty yellow flowers showing off, but when fall rolls around, it's time to shed those medium green leaves. Black cottonwood is also about that easy life. It's all about location, location, location. Give it some sunshine, put it near some water, and make sure the soil drains like a champ and it'll be happy. You'll usually find this tree hanging out near streams and in those alluvial bottomlands. And it's quite the traveler from sea level all the way up to 9,000 feet. And here's some general pictures of the black cottonwood. Um, and then this section, I just kind of want to go over different morphological variations and different, uh, I guess, in the pictures, how uh, the seeds and stuff kind of look different and uh, certain purposes. Uh, the black cottonwood or Populus trichocarpa displays intriguing morphological variations. It produces female flowers on separate trees. Female catkins, when uh, mature, can grow to three to eight inches, um, bearing seeds in capsules similar to the ones on our screen right now. The seeds are small, equipped with cottony hairs, and typically ripen in late May to June. Black cottonwoods visibility in high but short lit it is high. Sorry. Black cottonwoods uh, viability is high but short-lived, although it can persist for up to a year when stored in cold temperatures. Ecologically, it excels as a pioneer species, colonizing flood-disturbed areas, and it adapts to upland sites with adequate moisture. In undisturbed upland areas, it yields to other species. In association with other vegetation, black cottonwood coexists with various willow species, red alder, organ ash, big leaf maple, Douglas fir, western red cedar, and other trees. Common shrubs include red osier dogwood, vine maple hazel, sal salmonberry, elderberry, and numerous herbs. Uh, overall, black cottonwood's morphological versatility contributes to its ecological significance in shaping diverse ecosystems. And as you can see, we can see a bunch of the different types of seeds. Sorry, let's go back. Um, and things that yield off the black cottonwood itself. And as you can see, you can see the co cotton uh, hairs coming off of the seeds, as it's said, as I said before. Um, and let's get into the utilization of the plant. Um, before we get into that, I just want to talk about kind of contemporary uses. So versus past usages so um, how it's used nowadays in terms of contemporary economic utility black cottonwood offers a range of valuable applications it's a source of coarse lumber making it a key player in the production of various wood-based products including paper its reputation as a quality light wood makes it particularly sought after additionally black cottonwood is employed as a fuel source serving sorry about that uh, 
serving practical purposes in heating and energy production not to be overlooked the resin extracted from this tree finds its way into both the realms of medicine and perfume adding to its versatile co uh, contributions to various industries and then let's go into past utilization of the plant and which tribes used it um, it's truly fascinating to delve into the rich cultural significance of the cottonwood tree among various Native American tribes, especially in the Southwest. For the Apache tribes, cottonwood trees held a sacred status, symbolizing the radiant sun. On the other hand, some Northern Mexican tribes embraced cottonwoods as a connection to the afterlife, incorporating cottonwood bows into their solemn funeral rituals. Um, and that's uh, in relation to the Apache who were symbolizing it as the radiant sun. And here's a picture uh, that I could find online of the Apache tribe. Um, the Hopi, Pueblo, and Navajo tribes, among others, harness the strength of the cottonwood roots for crafting intricate kachina dolls, masks, and other ceremonial artifacts, weaving their cultural heritage into the very fabric of the tree itself. In the plains, in the plains Indian tribes, the cottonwood took on yet another role as a medicine tree. Its significance was profound, often seen in the creation of sacred poles and artifacts for the sun dance ceremony, crafted from the sturdy trunks and branches of the cottonwood. So we got Hopi, uh, Pueblo, who also utilized the plant and the Navajo. And here's the last, it's just um, their utilization towards the Cochina dolls and these are the Cochina dolls that I was able to find a picture of. Beyond art and symbolism, the Cottonwood's healing properties were also recognized. Various tribes utilized its bark and leaves as medicinal herbs, particularly for treating wounds and reducing swelling. These diverse uses of the cottonwood tree are a testament to the deep and multifaceted uh, relationship between Native American cultures and the natural world around them. Here's my work cited. And this is for all the pictures that I had sourced and also the information in which I was uh, speaking. Uh, thank you guys for your time and I hope everyone has a good day and a great semester. Thank you. Bye-bye.